Blessed Friday everyone. Welcome po sa ating devotions and as we continue our devotions, 24th week, right? 24th week na tayo. We'll be looking at um, Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Let me get my Bible. Acts chapter 5 verse 31. Kamusta na kaya? <laughs> Acts 5.31 Okay This is how it reads Acts 5.31 God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins So, ang Panginoong Diyos in-exalt si Cristo Jesus ang ating Panginoon uh, God the Son uh, at his right hand as leader and savior and it is Jesus who gives repentance uh, to Israel and grant forgiveness of sins right that makes Jesus the sovereign lord and savior ito po ang sabi ang title ng devotion natin is Christ receives sin sinners this is how it reads what a gracious thing for us that Jesus Christ never thinks about what we have been define natin yun this is talking about how Jesus uh, looks beyond your sins when you believe in Him. It's not that uh, um, He's not mindful or concerned about your your past. He is. That's why He came to the world, diba? The reason why He came to the world, lived a perfect life, died a substitutionary death, is because of our sins. Kasama yung past, kasama yung present, and kasama yung future. So, um, but by the statement that, that it is a gracious thing for, for us that Jesus Christ never thinks about what we have been is pointing to the point where we got saved, when we got saved. When you are a genuine believer, God would no longer look at your sins because that's paid for already. That's been washed away by the, the blood of Jesus Christ. He always thinks about what we are going to be. Yes, He is mindful of what we are going to be, what we ought to be. And what does that point to? God is mindful of how we would become more like Christ. Dibat kaya nga, we are being sanctified every day. Sa lahat ng nangyari sa atin, sa lahat ng um, pinagdaanan natin, God uses those to sanctify us, to make us more like Christ, right? The Savior is our Lord, who is our Lord cares absolutely nothing about your moral case history. Again, that is on the point or in the point of salvation. It's not at all saying that He doesn't care about what you've done. That's the reason why He came to the world, diba? Right? Um, that's why. That's the reason why He uh, died on the cross. So the statement that um, God does not care absolutely about your moral case history, it, it is true in the point of salvation. In the point of salvation. He forgives it and starts from there as though you had been born one minute before. The born again experience, right? The woman of, Sam the woman of Samaria met our Lord at the well and we ask, why was Jesus willing to reveal so much more about himself in this setting than he did in other encounters during his ministry because he he was making a point that salvation is not just for the Jews salvation is for everyone who believes he's making a point that he is reaching out even to the Samarians the, the, those who are hated by the Jews salvation is for them as well because kagaya sabi ni Paul diba? we, we should not be thinking highly of ourselves because everyone is e on equal footing we all have sinned right and fall short of the glory of god and then he goes on to say um in Jesus' day his critics said in scorn this man receives sinners they were right and he lived and died and rose again to prove it the blessed part is this he is still receiving sinners the point of jesus being given authority to forgive sins and, and to, to wash away sins and to grant repentance is that he is the savior 
of those who would believe in him. Walang distinction, either Jews or Greek, man or woman. That's the point nung nilapitin niya ang woman at the well, yung Samaritan woman. Because Jesus was making a point that the Lord, the Savior, the Messiah, came into the world to save those who would believe in him, be it Jews or Greeks, or Jews or non-Jews, because we are all in equal footing. And this Messiah, this Lord, this Savior, is the Savior who receives sinners, especially those who, uh, uh, sinners who in repentant faith comes to Him. Sinners who um, are running away from, uh, or turning their backs from, from their sins, on their sins, and running towards Him. Because they know that on their own, they cannot make it. Ganon din nangyari sa atin. Right? And I praise the Lord that He receives sinners. Otherwise, we would not be saved. And the good news, sabi ni Tozer, He still receives sinners. Therefore, we ought to be preaching the gospel. We ought to be living out the gospel. We ought to be sharing our, 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 our gospel experience. Paano tayo? Binago ng Diyos, niligtas niya kahit hindi tayo karapat dapat because He is so great. I pray that we would understand this, that na ang Panginoong Diyos receives sinners. He received us, di ba? And changed us so beautifully. And so, anong dapat gawin sa atin ito? I pray that this would drive us to be praying hard for our loved ones. Uh, 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 dun sa mga kilala natin na hindi man nampal tayo. Even those who we think ay, ay parang hindi na yata mailigas to. No! We are no better, right? Christ receives sinners and He still do. Habang may panahon pa, kindly be praying for them, kindly be preaching the gospel to them, sharing the gospel to them, kindly live, it, live out the gospel uh, um, for the world to see. Upang sa ganon, ang mga makasalanan, kagaya natin, na sa panampal tayo lumapit kay Kristo Jesus, ay mabigyan niya ng buhay na walang hanggan. Dahil siya ay ang tagapagligtas na hanggang sa ngayon tumatanggap ng mga makasalanang nais uh, at nakita ang kanilang uh, kalunos-lunos na kalagayan so that they would be saved, right? Ito po yung panalangin ni Tozer para sa atin. Lord, I have many family, friends, and co-workers who need you as their Savior. Will you receive them in your family today? Better yet, will you grant them repentance will you grant them faith would you make me as a a testimony of your grace right ito po ay napakaimportanteng katotohanan dapat nating yakapin the people around you are given to you are placed in your stewardship para saan para tayong magningning kagaya ng katanghali ang tapat na araw para sila ay um makita nila yung kaibahan ng mananampaltaya, yung may pag-asa, yung may kagalakan, paghinambing sa wala. Right? So, that is a beautiful reminder for all of us as we are almost done with the week. Right? Fifth day pa lang po, bukas yung ating last day ng 24th week. Manalangin tayo? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are the Savior who never shoes away anyone who in repentant faith comes to you. Salamat din po dahil kayo rin po ang tagapaglitas na sa inyo rin nangagaling ang panampaltaya, pagsisisi at buhay. And so Lord, dalangin namin, tanggapin niyo po ang pagpapasalamat namin. We, we pray that you accept Lord our humble thanks for saving us. Humble gratitude Lord for just accepting us and making us part of your family. We pray that uh, you would indeed make us be a vessel of the gospel so that those who are placed, that you have placed in our stewardship would, would see, Lord, the difference. We pray that you would grant them faith, grant them repentance, quicken their hearts, Lord, that they would believe by your grace, that they would be saved. Muli, Panginoong Diyos, salamat na marami dahil hanggang ngayon, tumatanggap po kayo ng mga kasalanang lalapit ng bukal sa kalooban sa inyo. 
at lalapit ng may uh, panampalataya at pagsisisi. Salamat na marami dahil ganito po ang ginawa niyo sa amin. And so Lord, as we live out our day today, uh, we pray that uh, the truth, the powerful truth of the gospel, Lord, would be seen in us as we live our day, our lives, Lord, humbly and um, with gratitude. Maraming pong salamat. Pagpalaan niyo po ang araw na ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow for our weekender. Ingat po kayo lahat and God bless you.